All right, everybody. So in this video, I just wanted to show you guys um, what to do in a blackout. So different ways to power up your fish tank. So I got two different methods you want to have. This is a, a new thing that just kind of came in um, not that long ago. So these are like a uh, portable, I forgot what they were called, um, electrical or portable power stations or something like that. So this is a little Jackery. The, I believe they make one that's even better than uh, than this you could probably go with like the yeti blue so look into that but the jackery model is actually made pretty well built um but anyways uh so i was saying so this is a little power generator basically or uh or a power station so use this is basically a battery a portable battery and so basically we're going to power up the tank and i know this one works because it's been powering up my fish tank for like the past uh, 12 hours but uh, the light maybe for eight like a normal light cycle, but the little water pump for past 12 hours So it started at 100% and I was like at 48 I just barely uh, unplugged it and plugged it into the regular uh, outlet just for the video. But anyways, uh, let's just get started. So I'm just gonna get the Let's start off with the pump first and then we'll move on with the light just because the pumps you can't really tell if I take out the pump or not All right, so to start it, you basically just gotta push. There's these little buttons right here. There's two of them. So it depends on which power source you wanna use. Um, you could use both of them at the same time. You see that? But we're just gonna use one of them. All right, so I'm not sure if you saw that, but the, uh, the water fl started flowing. Um, and then I also got a, a little heater that I might try adding on, um, but let's uh, connect the, the light now. The reason I don't want to add the heater right now is because <laughs> it's freaking hot right now. All right, there you go. So basically, uh, this little uh, power station or whatever, the, they, they could light up a little fish tank for quite a long time. So if you have like a big fish tank, maybe uh, this one in particular is a 300, uh, man, <laughs> I want to say 300 Watts, uh, or, or volts. I, I forgot what, it, I forgot what the units, but, um, but basically, uh, they come in two models. One of them just has one of the little plugs, but this is the, uh, the one with the two, uh, little outlets. You could plug, I could plug in a little extension cord. What's cool about this little thing is I can actually see how much uh, watts I'm pulling, uh, how much power I'm, I'm pulling out. And it also tells you the battery life actually has a little number. So that's really cool. So that's the first way the, that I kind of recommend to power up. If, if you don't want to carry like a big old generator or even an inverter generator, which are still lighter. I mean, smaller than the normal generators, but they're still freaking, uh, uh, they're still pretty big. So, but this little thing, it only weighs seven pounds and you could actually move it. I mean, mess with it. And I saw yesterday or I saw like a little fan turn on. So it has like these little fans on the side and it's really cool. But yeah, the, this thing will basically power your little fish tank. And now I'm going to go show you the second method and I'm going to grab my main camera and then I'm going to take you outside and we're going to start a generator. So. The generator is probably the next best way. So I ran this extension cord that basically leads out outside um, to that to the generator. Never start your generator indoors, but mine's outside and I only have the little cord sticking out to the window. All right, so now I'm gonna plug in the extension cord with the other extension cord that I use for the fish tank. So right now my extension cord for the fish tank doesn't have anything. All right, and so basically I'm gonna go outside and start the generator. And I'll show you which generator, generator I got and I think I'll take that camera. Hopefully it's still on. I'm gonna take that camera. All right, I'll be right back.
All right, everybody. So I just finished plugging in the generator or starting the generator. And now all I got to do is just plug in all my electrical to it. So it's pretty simple. Just get all your electrical stuff and plug it in. And like I said, during your power outage, basically a generator is going to generate all the electricity for your aquarium. This Jackery, it might handle a lot of your um, electrical, but like I said, I wouldn't power up like a 400 watt heater because this is only a 300 watt uh, battery station. And so getting like a 400 watt heater is probably not the smartest thing to do. It's probably not even going to work. But for like a smaller tax, like running your pumps and electrical systems, um, something that requires lower wattage, um, this is the way to go with the Jackery. And like I said, if you want to run higher um, electrical work, you could get a bigger model um, from these power stations. Another good one is like the Blue Yeti. I think it's a slightly better, uh, more options for that uh, power station. But this one is just really well built and you can't do this one with other bottles. You see that? It's pretty durable. Also, this one has like a little fan that's built in. And like I said, um, I take this to the reef show. So this is like a real perfect power station for like a little reef show. It should power up your entire little stand and everything. Doesn't matter what electricity you're putting on there, as long as it's not too bad. But like I said, I wouldn't go with this. So this is my little Aquamedic 250 watt metal halide. I would not put the metal halide on the little jaggery, but on the what's it called on the on the power generator, um, I could definitely hook up a 250 watt metal halide plus all my electrical, and I could even uh, charge my power station. So I recommend having a power station and the generator running at the same time. That way you could charge your uh, power station. All right, there you go. All right, so that way you could charge your power station and generate electricity at the same time. And when your generator runs out of uh, fuel, you could just resort back to your uh, power station for your uh, more supply. I mean, more energy supply while you go and get fuel. But pretty much, um, like I said, if you asked me which one I would go with, if I only had to choose one, I would probably go with this Jackery because I, I take it to all the little reef shows that I go to. And I take this little aquarium and basically I power this little aquarium with this, which is way more convenient than taking that big old generator I got, which I have done in the past. And honestly, it's not that cool because you get dirty and then you have to worry about gasoline and then you have to get somewhere to put the gasoline and all this stuff. And you don't want to deal with that. But with, like I said, these little power stations, it's pretty much all built in there. So all the electricity just you just transfer electricity rather than create it uh, yeah i'm trying to think of what else to say uh for the price point i paid nearly the same uh, i paid like about i can't remember if it was three let's say like 400 bucks for the generator and for the little jackery i paid 300 so I don't know. It depends what <laughs> if you if you live like in a little apartment or anything like that or a small house, go with the Jackery. If you have like a large farm or, you know, you, you, you know, you're going to use a lot of tools a lot. I definitely go with the generator. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else to say, but yeah, like I said, that's pretty much it. And like I said, if you want to power your your fish tank, get a generator or like I said, get these new. Uh, power stations in the market there's a variety of them but this is just the one i got you could get whatever one you want and like i said there's a blue yeti and the jackery are like kind of the top of the line and the jackery they're also in the bay area located in in california so is the kessel light or the kessel brand but yeah that's pretty much it guys it's a pretty short episode and you know what thank you guys for watching but pretty there's not not too much to it to power up your your fish tank during the blackout and like i said with this little generator it's it's been running this aquarium for like the past uh 12 14 hours uh, uh like i said like no no that's a lie yeah yeah like 12 tw almost 24 hours of running this little uh tank so it's been running since like yesterday in the afternoon yeah so almost 24 but definitely gone like past 12 
just running this aquarium, but it, it only runs the light about 12 hours a day because I only have a 12 hour light cycle. But like I said, other than that, I mean, a generator or a power station is the way to go for your fish tank. But thank you guys for watching, guys. Um, so I'm gonna give you guys some close shops, <laughs> some close up shots of the coral, just so you can see how they're doing. Um, I did position the rock a little bit because this top one, this top rock keeps falling off. So I, I have to keep moving it every time I transport this little aquarium because last time this little coral fell on top of the, my Monty fell on top of the frog spawn and the frog spawn stung it. And then the Monty kind of, where it got stung, it died. And then it recovered and everything, but still, um, I don't like coral stinging each other. But yeah, anyways, that's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys for watching, guys. Uh, see you in the next video and enjoy these little close-up shots. Thank you.